What's up guys, it's Mr. Jampin and today we are back on the Pokemon Showdown server. Um, three days in a row, three days in a row my guys. Um, I do not have a lot of time this morning. So this one tops can be probably 30 minutes. Um, but you know, consistency is a new strength I'm cultivating. So I uh, wanted to just, I'm like Jam, just, even if you don't have a lot of time, just knock it out. Just do it. But um, yeah, much, much, much loves to you guys for the support. Um, Trick Room, I'm actually, I'm actually looking forward to Trick Room. For some reason, I just enjoy facing Trick Room. I think because it's such a tricky <laughs> play style, no pun intended. Um, yeah, it, it is a, a, a doozy to play. And I'm Max Spadefini, which doesn't help a ton versus Marowak, though Garchomp's gonna be my go-to. So let's break it down. Well, Corona is going to be my metal metal counter, my Chris counter, my everything counter. Um, Polt can be guarded against with the Porygon. Um, Barathorn's damn good with the hazards. Zapdos sub bulk up sweeps after a certain set of conditions are met. Finny, you know how Finny do. Um, so my real question here is just the Hattering, right? How do I ensure that the Hattering doesn't just have its way? Um, Polt is probably my weakest link. And if he goes to Porygon, then that's a spike plus or knockoff from versus the Porygon. So it's not the end of the world. So it's really a matter of keeping Finny Chomp, my defensive threats up until I can wither down his trick room. This isn't the one I'll win quickly. And so I'm leading Polt to entice the Hatterene to stay and he could go hard Porygon, as I said. Um, U-turn would have been fine there, but as I, mm, let me think, is Hatterene better? I mean, is Finny better? If I go Pharaoh and knock, Porygon comes in. No, yeah, Ferrothorn's better. Uh, cause he'll just go to Hatterene here, which, which I don't like. Oh, he goes hard Marrow. That's a huge misplay. I don't know why he did that. So Chomp guards against the Marrow now. Oh, he's just giving me the Marrow. He's getting impatient. Oh my goodness. Like it wouldn't have killed without the, the SD is the equivalent of having the bone. So we'll go hard Volk here unless he has rock slide. Oh yeah. This is going amazingly. He probably will forfeit here. Because you wasted all your trick room. You lost your two biggest threats. Um, I'll roost just to patience it out. Uh, Crawdon didn't make a lot of sense there. Uh, luckily for him, I can't really harm his Crawdon. <clears throat> um, but here you definitely Aqua Jet. Because you, know, you don't want me to just go for... Uh, homie's tripping. <laughs> okay, maybe this is his first time. I, I don't get... Like, it, there's just no thought process. I mean, I'll gladly take those points. Um, as we hit, Ideally, if we can hit 1,800 um, within the 30-minute span, that would be good. We're 1745 right now. Um, I think 42, 7. Uh, very, very interesting. I think homie just wasn't... Maybe he had a long day. Uh, or he could be coming off of a tilt. Where, you know, when you're on the back end of a tilt, your brain isn't very sharp. You're just, uh, and if you don't know what a tilt is, or, you know, I think everybody knows what a tilt is. But if you don't know what causes tilt, definitely check out my video on how to never tilt again. Um, the playlist, the mindset playlist, uh, is on the channel. I should have it in the description. But, um yeah tilt is psychological it's generally you have a a certain amount of points that you've achieved and you're attached to so if you say you're like a 1700 level player right you've identified with that level of play um friendly guy and so whenever you're playing you're trying to get back to 1700 level when the truth is you should just let go <clears throat> um because your points don't define you. 
um, and while it sounds contradictory that's the key to getting back up um, to I'm not checking out shit my nigga but uh, <laughs> that's the key to get <laughs> let me assess this team preview let me say, let me say check out this music video oh shit but yeah um, in this game obviously Blissey shuts down my Volk um, Blissey shuts down my Polt so he has a hard time killing depending on what his Victini is he has a hard time killing my Ferris Horn so I'll use that to my advantage my Zapdos is damn good once I find out what kind of cliff he is if he's unaware or not um, Chomp, Scorper, resist to guard against the Victini and the Zero Aura. Uh, yeah. What can I guard against from him very well? He doesn't seem to have any glaring offensive threat, right, but I want to be careful. I'll keep Polt in the back on the odd chance it's like sub bulk up quarter. Um, Finion Zera immediately would put me on the back burner. Um, Slumpered on. No, I can deal with Slumpered on. So Victini. I know they use a run Glaciate, but I could be faster than him. I could be an offensive chomp and just kill his Vic. So I don't think you'd want that. But at the same time, he. Uh, what would I even go to? Like, my defensive chomp won't kill his Victini, but as I said, he should know to not just leave this in. Uh, okay, that's what I expected, and I know Corviknight will allow for me to get up rocks. So, because he's probably just going to U-turn or double switch back out. And so, again, what I'm gearing for here is a, is a Zapdos. I think Zapdos is the easiest to win with. Um, and my defensive backbone of Chomp, so it is bulk up. I've noticed these have been running body presses of late, so I want to be careful of that. I really don't know what to expect here. Um, I don't have a flying resist, I just noticed. What I'm gonna do is first is flamethrower. If he braver is his turn, I know I can get. It won't do much, and I'll rocky helmet him so much. Oh wow, he's wow. Uh, he's almost dead. Wow, I didn't expect it to do. Whoa. Rocks. Okay, so it's either leftovers. Yeah. So I don't see an item. So it still could be unaware. Um. So him letting Corv, if it's unaware, because what I'm thinking here is I really could sweep, if it's unaware, I could sweep him with that boost right here. Um, that's too impatient though. But how do I not allow for his Corv to come back in, right? Uh, well, I suppose Ferrothorn disallows Corv unless he double switches here. So it combines directly, which again, I could have gone for Toxic on him there. Um, unaware, I've never seen Unaware run. I'll knock here. Oh, it does have Flamethrower, shit. Okay. It's not good. Yeah, I should have toxic him. him. Uh, him having flamethrower is a big deal. So I have to, man, I have to play this differently then. Um, so I'll double the chomp. I know he's going to go for a combine. And I'll lose my chomp to toxic him, but so be it. Oh, he actually didn't bet. Okay, so I get to actually, that was a huge misplay on his part. That was a lot of greed. It's a lot of greed. It wasn't necessary. All right, Quiver Dance doesn't, <laughs> right? Uh, but I know the Toxic's gonna rack up, right? A lot of greed there. Um, oh, he's fifteen twenty. Why am I getting fifteen twenty players? My Pharaoh being this low though is a huge deal. Uh, 
Huge, huge deal. What am I at? 102. He never seismic here. He's probably toxic. Or thunder. Okay, yes, thunder wave, which is good. Because that means I can set up. Oh, yes, heal bell on it. Got you. But my pharaoh is back, which is most important. He actually just. <laughs> well, he is 1520. So pharaoh is back. His item is gone. I'm a hard Zapdos here. I get a kill. Brave Bird kills him on here. Unless he goes to Zero Aura. He hard switches to Clef. Homie tripping if he thought I was going to get. <laughs> like, what? And now your Blissey's at 43, so it's like not even a Volt counter anymore. Um, and I just need to predict his, and it's not even rock sick, which means it's banded. I, I like my Zero Aura counter. Holy shit. Jesus. But Earthquake is free here. If you, can, you can't go Corviknight, go Swamp. Swamp. I want to be careful of the Zero, as I said. Uh, I want to have Volk at the utmost of health for that. And have chomp because my ferrothorn is paralyzed and that can make things a little dicey but that might be adamant but I might just overestimating chomp I don't want any kind of luck earthquake would be his play here earthquake slash Hmm. Mm. I don't want the what's it called coming back, the Corviknight. Um, yeah, what I'm gonna do is EQ here. He actually liquidation says so dead. Um, I didn't want to give up my Zapdos, I mean, my Garchomp there because you know it's helpful for switching for Sizzific, um, versus the Victini. Um, Zero Aura would make the most sense to me here. Uh, okay, I'll let him go to it. This is, again, this is why I didn't want the. But I think. I didn't think he'd have one liquidation. I figured he might flip turn. And if he flip turned as I went to anything else, his Corv is back. Well, if I went to. Well, I could have gone Dragapult, but Dragapult wouldn't have threatened him out. And then I'd be back in the same situation. Oh, you went. Bl Who goes Blissey there? If I went to anything else, you were done in this town. <sighs> Who goes Blissey there? Okay, whatever. So it wishes. No knockoff here. Because I think he might hard switch to one of them. Please. For the love of God, Ferrothorn, please. Thank. Oh my goodness. It says Blissey is gone. He defogs. Okay, that's not fun, but you know, it is what it is. Now I just set up with my Volcarona. Ideally, sacks the Blissey here. Because this is ladder, I, you know, as their aura bulking up here is not out of the question, which would be really problematic. Uh, matter of fact, if it's sub bulk up.
Mm. So he's giving me Vic. So I want, I want Finny in versus his Victini. Cause I don't want, um, yeah. I don't want Zero Aura just getting free setups. So we're gonna Moonblast here, Calm Mind. Uh, that's shitty too. That's shitty too, but upside is that Polt, Polt can take a hit from CM Zera. It resists its moves. Please, for the love of God, Polt, hit. He's only plus two special attack. Okay. All right, so that's it now. I just shot a ball. Um... But you see why I'm I was wary, right? Like something like that would have run up on me in a heartbeat if I wasn't ready. Oh, he's not even. Man, sometimes they don't run. Okay, so I didn't even have to worry about luck. No, I do here. Just go Volcarona. Yep. Fire dance, and that's the game. Just Vic has to. No, no, it doesn't matter what Vic does, frankly. Wow. The Victini is like max HP. So I'm telling you, bro, the 6, 1700, 1500 guys are the most dangerous. My Volk has almost no speed. And I'm still faster than this Victini. So you can imagine if I tried to. He's adamant for sure. That's why I did so much to my chomp. But can you imagine um, me thinking, oh, this KO is here, like with Dragapult or something? And he lives at 80 with, from a spec shadow ball. But in every other case, that Victini would be a bad set. And so, um, is that the third game? What is this? <laughs> He's 1900, which is good. Um, I, I know some cheese is about to come out, but I just don't know what it is. But if I use just general sort of rule or so I'm thinking, you know, or, or I mean, that's not the right term, but like just kind of, you know, what, what, what general move sets does this thing have, you know, that should be straight. Um, Polt is really hard for him to deal with. Volk as well. Volk with Volk with Chomp weakened. And I'm, I know what <clears throat> my gut is like. He's just gonna play mad recklessly. Recklessly. Finny is. what I'm thinking here if I pulled right I was thinking if I pull aren't you in the back foot but I, I, I mean I guess if this is scarf if it's not you'd mandibus if it is you'd moon blast here yeah okay so it's not um and mandibus isn't something you want getting hit here <clears throat> so I'm probably go hard magnezone. Um Okay. Oh wow, that's crazy. That was just like a stupid play. Okay. That gives me a bit of information. That was like a horrible play. You never leave Buzz in there when you're so shadow ball weak. So if I had just tricked or gotten a moon blast off there, like Polt just eats his team alive. So again, very interesting decision. Um Ferrothorn can live a hit from that shell smash thing. Um, I could see him doubling the zone, but maybe he uh, oh, he specs. Gotcha. So then, okay, I got that bit of information. 
spikes go a long way, but if any I guess if I beat him before he beats me. I wouldn't be shocked if this isn't body press. Yeah. I, I really don't know what's coming, guys. Like, <laughs> I'm like, what, what? It's like, I'm afraid to go to my chomp. I'm like, uh, let me just wait. U turn, okay. So if Lele comes in, a double the zone here makes a lot of sense because you're covering for my Pharaoh. But he made such a dumb play earlier with the Mandibuzz. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Mmm. Oh, that sling. Okay, so Ferrothorn is dead. But Magnezone is too. So... If I identified the item on a lot of them... He has plus one special attack right now. So what do I need to do to keep that chomp at bay? So what I'm going to do here. Is Zapdos. I'm going to bluff being banded. I know his Lele is not. Um, I know his Lele isn't. Specs. I'm pretty sure you die from here. There ain't no way you're taking a Brave Bird from here. I actually had the calc. Mmm, that those. No. What's my timer saying? Okay. Um, Zapdos. Galar. Custom set. Tapu Lele. Spadef drop mattered a lot versus his Lele, but you know, it is what it is. Brave Bird destroys him. Give me that. Alright. <clears throat> Excellent. Okay, so at this point, you can't guard against Finny. Again, I'm just being wary. So let's see if he has, like, Oh wow, I didn't know that's how that worked. I did not know that's how that worked. I don't know if it matters, because I don't think he's breaking my sub. Okay. That's annoying. Um, I could have had plus two there, but I guess it doesn't really matter. Um, I don't think he can live this, and he can't kill me. Oh, you sash. Okay. That's fine. I know these things learn Giga Drain. Okay, Shadow Ball. I know Volk can take any hit, which I don't need. What? Oh, shit. Oh, my God. If Volk died, Chomp is definitely dying. Oh shit, the fucking speed boost makes a huge difference. Oh man, like I, I was like, I knew there was some cheese shit that's about to happen to me. Um, and I have no priority. And I'm pretty sure he has Giga Drain. And I don't trust Finny to have enough attack to. Maybe Chomp can take it, but I'm. Um, Maybe Chomp can take. Chomp is a motherfucker, man. Nah, it ain't happening. 
Ah. Uh, so I need to. Oh wow! Why did he? He can lose now. Yeah, he can lose now. Please hit. Choice specs. Draco. Hopefully. I know it's in misty terrain, which isn't to my advantage. But. Yeah, he should have went. Um, oh, my God. <laughs> I almost won. So obviously Finney would have won v1 man the buzz. Wow. Uh so we just have to hold that L right there. It's uh I th I thought I played that like I'm like okay. Make sure that this doesn't go on cuz of this and this, but I didn't know it would have focus sash. So that makes more sense why he um okay. It makes more sense why he was prioritizing. So my goal, my game plan there was to versus the little thing know that it's Sash. This team is not even, it doesn't even delete, deal with hazards reliably. So yeah, um, now you live and you learn with that. So that won't work twice, but uh, very, very tricky stuff. So we're gonna grab our last one. Um, Nah, that sucked. That sucked. I thought I covered for every little nonsense that could have come out. Um, but that's the benefit of having the surprise factor. Opponent guards horribly against Ghost. So I'll take advantage of that. Guard champ shuts down. Nothing in particular. But it's useful with the Rocky, you'll see why. Um, Ferrothorn is very hard for him to kill. Ferrothorn plus. Mm. Somewhat bulk. Bulk is also really hard for him to deal with. And you're gonna see why um, I'm caring so much about. I bulk sweeps with Landers getting some chip. Which is gonna come from Chomp. Finny is going to remove the Slow King's item to speed up that process. Zabdos sub bulk up. Destroys him with. What's his face? Beat up. Okay, so phase one is going to be. Coco. I'll take the little bit of damage. If he's Choice Scarf, he can't kill me. But. Yeah, I'll take that 10% to the bank. He should U-turn again, which will give me another bit. He dazzles. Okay. Okay. So if I'm going to oh, annihilate him with Shadow Ball, what conditions do I need, man? Phase 1 spikes. Seems almost too simple. Is that bandit? Is that scarf? Seems almost too simple. Like this is the position I was waiting on. Unless he ice beams, but you know, I, unless he crits, the ice beam pull won't die. Should just future side. They always just click it without much consideration for whether it's the best play. Um, but yeah, this is the position I wanted. I won't get a two-hit KO because the future side will pop off, depending on what he, he switches in. If it's something I feel like is worth leaving Polt in to take the future side, then I will. But at this point, depends on how much this corp takes. If it takes over half, nah. Yeah, it's definitely not worth me leaving this in. So, Ferrothorn here to punish, or if the future has to defog, right? Um, so lead sheet here uh, to max per death leftovers matter but if he switches out I get Buzzwell's item which is probably helmet yeah and I uh, I get to keep my spikes up 
Um, I'm like, oh, no. he's playing very wisely with his, with his, um, on Finney, what can he double to on Finney? Double to Coco. Um, but he just roost. Okay, it's a pretty safe chomp here. Uh, he could have Ice Beam. Mm, it's not the end of the world if he does. Uh, Buzzwell was a good play there. I know Buzzwell definitely has the Ice Punch. I've been seeing that. Uh, the question is whether... He doesn't want my Zap Wilson, I can tell that. Uh, so now she gets interesting because I get to go to Volk. Yeah, I knew you'd go Corv. It's too telegraphed. Uh, now, even if he Brave Birds, one, he can't knock me out, but two. So Landers is potentially Max Biff, I don't know. The next one will to it KO. So I'd assume maybe if you had Toxic. I guess I can't stop the core from coming in. And I'll just take my kill when the core comes in. Um, yeah, I can't get around it. What I could do is being here. Right, I know he's gonna toxic Finny here, and then you know, if you're, I'd assume, yeah, I scald into the, the I didn't expect sloking, I was gonna scald into the the um, because I was gonna double his atlas there, but I can scald into the curve, let him defog, and then plus two thunders kick might do the trick. Um, plus two thunderous kick might do the trick. Um, pole comes in, future sights once again. And so it's back to the question of okay, am I comfortable enough? Mm, is this necessary? Future sight, he gets the defog for free, but. No, he doesn't get the defog for free. Right. And I can take off his item here and spike back up. Because I know he doesn't want his item gone. Because that's what's saving him from my Pult After Rocks. Pult After Rocks. I'll just play this one slow play. It's going over the time. Which is why I'm, I'm like fighting between trying to end this in the shortest time possible. But also knowing that I have a lot of leverage in this game, and if I just patience it out, it's almost impossible to lose. Um, but yeah, at this point, it's just a matter of getting that pult in and just clicking Shadow Ball. He's very has a very hard time killing Ferrothorn. Um, yep. So it's just one of those times where you like you gotta sacrifice that item. Mm-hmm. And I keep going Finny, so eventually he's gonna double but because those these two together are just so damn powerful that it doesn't really matter if he does. Like it just doesn't. Um Close Cod Dottie has like Stone Age or some shit like that. I'm gonna scald. I wanted to go slow king here. I mean go to uh What's his face, but future saying. Right, the core gets to come in. Pharaoh gets to eat the future. He defogs. And we back, rinse and repeat. But he's trying to get me to make a mistake, which I respect. Um, 
Slow King should make an appearance here. Yep. Just needed to get him comfortable. Yep. Condition him, condition him, condition him. And then I just get the free switching on Volk. Uh, it doesn't seem like he has any counterplay the way he's playing. And once I start getting him comfortable, 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 I just get my Zapdos in. Because I think I thought he'd Brave Bird by now, but either he doesn't have it or he doesn't want to use it on the wrong turn. Okay, finally he goes to Finny. I figured he'd eventually switch switch up what he was doing. Um my question is now is which is better if he has knock, right? Like do I want Ferrothorn? Uh well Ferrothorn can lead seed on everything on his team, so he can never prevent my hazards. I mean prevent my recovery. So I'm open to Ferrothorn, not my Finny. Mm. Guards the bottom. Ferrothorn technically only checks the Tapus. Um, so it goes Lander's Theory form, which I can tell, okay, well, he's getting impatient. He's like, okay, I want, I want Hazards and I want him now. So this could be a, a poor play in the sense that if I... If I mislead Sheet and he crits me with EQ... Um, I won't lose or anything like that, but if the Landers gets beaten down right now, it puts me in a pretty solid spot. <clears throat> His rocks are irrelevant. But it, this is pretty impatient. I just don't want to do a bunch of doubling around and all that. So, for example, like, objectively, my best player is to go Zapdos and sub. Um... Because he'd probably, if I go Zapdos, he'd, well, it varies what he'd do. He might go Hard Coco, which then, mm, subbing might not even be the best play. Uh, so he just doubles to Buzzwall, I get the health back, which is great. And the Buzzwall obviously has to heal here. Um, what's the, I was going to go Pult there, but. So now I can go to. No, Pulse a little better here. Um, I was gonna go to Volk. Um, but Volk still requires a bit of setup. I want rocks up. Okay, good. Got impatient. Yeah, to do some silly shit like EQ, like very little value. And so you can tell he's starting to feel like, man, I just don't know how to break this. I don't know how to solve this problem. And to be fair, versus a player who knows what he's doing, you almost will never solve this problem. Um, no, you're just, you're just not. Uh, Max Spadef. Yeah. <clears throat> mm -mm -mm. I want to get him comfortable enough to, yeah. I wouldn't be shocked if he goes back to Corbin. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. so now he's within pole range. For an two it KO. Which I knew, yep. Mm hmm Starting to get too comfortable. Yep, that's what I wanted. Thing is it just doesn't give you any ground, right? Like you don't get any ground. Um but he doesn't realize how comfortably he got letting me <clears throat> letting my um And now this is where I do it. Flame third. 
it's doing 37 no just thunderbolt here yeah um Thunderbolt was less of a prediction there. It was just like it's essentially it wasn't stab, but it would have took care of the sloking at that range anyway. Um, I'm debating. No, I'll just attack again here. There's no reason to predict the landers. Uh, now he just can't guard against Shadow Ball at all, particularly with spikes up, like at all. And I think he, we confirmed it was Boost Coco. Night double. Yep. Which I mean I think is the main Coco set, right? So makes sense. <clears throat> <clears throat> so you can't control for hazards anymore. So it's time to go on one thousand. Uh toxic here. Oh, well, even if he goes finny, doesn't truly matter. Um mm, well, should I toxic him here? Uh, Rocks guarantee me value. I'm actually not going to talk. Toxic isn't the better play there. Rocks guarantee me value to end this game out. And that's 25% on every mon. Except Coco. Well, and Lando. Because it's not taking spikes. Sure, Rocks would be cool. I mean, Toxic on this would be cool. But if I miss or he just hard switches to Finny, I get no value out of the turn. When it's not necessary. Again, just playing the patient game. Um... Just playing the patient game. Yeah, so toxic there, predictable on his end. Um, I'll just toxic again on the out chance he feels like, okay, well, you want to EQ spam. But if he switches to Finny, it's just Ferrothorn. And if it's Ferrothorn, it's just that, and it's just that, and it's just that. And that's how that goes. But um, yeah, now it's time for Shadow Ball to wreak havoc. Okay, so just, if, especially if he U turns here. Okay, Earthquake's the best play there, of course. Um, Yeah, let's just get this damage out so that Volko, he's probably, oh yeah, that's over now. Uh, Volcarona, Volcarona, Dazzle, yeah. Mm, and Lichi is such just a, a menacing move that I don't need the spike. I'd rather, uh, nah. Nah, why not get the spike up? Spike can't miss guarantees value. <clears throat> you know Buzzwell's coming in. The Buzzwell's got to heal. Finney comes in, and I punish the Slow King with the knock. You know. Yeah. Like, he can't just come in willy-nilly anymore. He's shown Earthquake, Flamethrower. So Sludge Bomb's going to be his last move. I'll just give up Chomp instead of letting Paul take the hit. And just pick up my kill here. And so this is going to be happening quite a few times throughout this game. And the issue is that when my Paul comes in, you can't guard against it. But when your biggest threat to my Paul comes in, I counter it. And there's nothing you can do. Like, there's literally nothing you can do. Like, there's no amount of doubles you can make. There's no... I Again, I completely agree with him close combating there. Because at this point, you want to hope that I choke. But if he doesn't go for Roost here, then he loses to Pult. And so now I can start lead cheating. I'm surprised he hasn't forfeited. Um... As I said, uh, this is what I was trying to avoid, but you know, to not lose my points silly in a silly manner. So I'm 17. So I have this around 17.50. We got eight L's. Man, I can't believe that was such an easy win too. Uh, but I hope I've known it was Sash. Uh, I actually did not know. Well, it makes sense because Defiant comes from the stat drop, and stat drops don't go through substitutes. But I technically could have won that game too, had I uh, had I knocked out the chomp. That was the one time where my own ability 
uh, my own the top of any being what's his face actually really hurt me so my play there was to go to chomp I think chomp survived the did he shot a ball chomp or did he store power I think chomp survived it no 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 what survived it he went no he stored power my finny and finny survived it so I should have went finny first but I don't know why he wouldn't giga drain there maybe he thought that it would live and knock off would kill him I don't know so finny was the play first uh, and then it was just a done deal from there yeah it's game over now you had to hope that I choked and sacked Ferrothorn well, he was actually faster than me so now Ferrothorn just beats the rest of his team so yeah we're gonna end at 1756 um, tomorrow I'll have actually that's not true I'll record earlier and then I'll just shoot for uh, shoot for a 1800 or mid 1800s and then keep going but yeah hit the like button if you enjoyed shout out to consistency i'll see you guys in the next one peace